You know, it, it does look a lot like we've made it. You know, from the outside looking in. It this looks is like. what making it looks like. This is what it looks like. like oh it my gosh, you're like. here. It would look like. Yeah. Do you want to tell them about our streak? What streak? <laughs> Did I just do it? No, no you're no. singing singing on every uh, on, on every podcast I don't, episode I don't, we have. No, I don't. I don't do that. Uh, Neil. You want to put that to music and tell me about it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something good. <laughs> It's funny because I've never had any formal training. A lot of people wouldn't know that. They would think, oh my gosh, he grew up age four to 18. He was constantly just being- No formal training. He's a prodigy of- Absolutely. Of voice, rhythmic voicing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I he's get, never been auto-tuned. How can we even know if he's ever been auto-tuned? <laughs> With the auto-tuning. <laughs> Tony, the tuning. Tony, the tuning. Auto-toning. Oh. oh. And you know who you know who they use that on first? Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, the tiger. Tony, 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 the tiger. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Uh, this one started off hard in the Coming paint. Coming in hard in the paint. Kevin Garnett. Hey, we should probably. Tell them um, what we're doing. I mean, we can, or do we need to play the No, Joseph don't you say his name. So we need to, can we I, start getting mad at Joseph for not listening to our podcast? Listen, if you don't. So help me. Joseph. So help me. It, Joseph. Joseph Tilly. Yeah, that even is. Joseph Stalin Tilly. Yeah. That's his name. How dare he? Dictator. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Tyler and Neil Explain Everything podcast. Now officially your fourth favorite podcast. Hit the subscribe button and make sure you go to patreon.com slash explain everything to get exclusive episodes. Looks like we made it. And if it, it, what it looks like to make it actually it is to, re like. to record this in a construction site for a Wendy's, because that's what it sounds like we're doing. Yeah. What is it going to take to get a real studio up in here? What's it going to take to get you on this Buick? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say that one time? Yeah. You said it really. It's good. a Buick LeSabre. Mm -hmm. A LeSabre. That's a lightsaber. It's less. Do you think anybody drives it's a Buick LeSabre because they want a lightsaber so bad that's supposed to get? That's the only reason why my mother-in-law drives it. Oh, okay. Well. Miss Judy. That, that's on her. Yeah. Judy. I had a granny Judy. She died. She, oh, I loved her. Oh. She was crazy. We called her crazy granny Judy. Crazy granny Judy. It's crazy. That's what, Hey, you, when you have three names like that. I got stories about crazy granny Judy. I should like to hear she one Can't repeat them. Oh. <laughs> You're going to just dangle that out there and not... It is my carrot. Thank God oh for the bear. Gosh. Bears don't eat carrots. Hey, but. welcome to uh, a brand new type of episode for, for you guys. Uh, this is called Pop Culture Popcorn. Oh, ah, you have my attention. In the words of Leonardo DiCaprio, you have my... Oh, is that the... Why don't we call it Popcorn Culture? Popcorn Culture? Instead of Pop Culture pop, Popcorn. Pop, pop! Pop, pop! <laughs> <laughs> pop Culture? Pop, pop, a video. Popcorn Culture? Popcorn. Yeah, we I could like, do that. I like yours. Pop, no, I don't pop, like it. You're just being nice. Pop culture popcorn sounds good. <laughs> Not being nice. Shut you your, and if you Joseph, change it, I'm Joseph walking off Tilly set can. to use the restroom. <laughs> so, so explain it's what it is happen. because you came up with it because you're better than me in Well, way. there are so many topics that are that are hitting on a weekly basis, and we want to be able to give you more. Some of these don't deserve an entire show. Some of them deserve highlighted, and we just wanted to give you a bunch of things that have happened in the past week in pop culture. Okay. And so here they are. In no particular Music. order. <laughs> pop, pop. What's this just three Radio. minutes of us cooking popcorn? <laughs> and then it's like a picture Jiffy of us pop. staring at the screen, like way too close. What if pop popcorn? Hey. Pop up video. So this past week, uh, there is a class action lawsuit filed against Subway. <gasps> I need to preface all of this with, I'm sorry, Cassidy, if you lose your job because of this podcast. First of all, the fact that we have those extra listeners and you haven't gotten them on our Patreon, I'm a little hurt. Yeah. Second of all, there's not much of a chance, but uh, my daughter works at Subway. Oh, yeah. So uh, uh, this is a breach of contract for sure, because yeah. they definitely signed a non-compete, and they also said, uh, sign a don't talk about our tuna. Talk about a tuna. Well, non-compete, like don't go to Jimmy John's? Like what's the... <laughs> Don't you take it. Don't you tell Jimmy John's that we've got Don't tomatoes. Hey, Jersey Mike's, Mike's, Jersey Mike's subs. You get over here, what you going to get? You're going to get a couple of dead bodies over there in the ditch, maybe one floating face down in the water, and you're going to get a hoagie. So shut up. Sleep with the fishes. 
the tuna fishes. <laughs> oh, tuna. We brought it back around. We it back around. All right. So here's what happened. Um, a uh, t- two people in the state of California uh, filed a class action lawsuit. Because what does that mean? A class action lawsuit. It like, means did they way sit in classier. a classroom and they're like, <laughs> "There's some a lot of action in here." Oh my gosh, it's a lawsuit. Uh, I'm a lawsuit. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna sue ahead. you. Who? Sorry, you? sue everybody. Sue so boy what named they did, Sue. They, you ever heard that song? I have. I love that song. I love that song. I love songs that have stories. Me too. I don't know why. That's a good story too. It is. So what happened is there's there's a a, a lot of people that say, "Wait a minute, is the tuna?" At, also, who's eating tuna at Subway? I don't Criminals. know. Criminals. <laughs> That's how they, if you want to know how you get on the, there's three ways you get on the watch list for being a serial killer. Uh-huh. Order tuna at Subway, <laughs> right in all caps. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And three yeah. is you order boneless chicken wings. <laughs> oh, yeah. wings. Yep. You don't want those. If you do that, you they're putting you on a list those. somewhere and the FBI is tapping your yep, phone. Yep, they are. Yep. And then you're going to go into the class where there's a lot of action. A lot of action. You're going to get sued. What's all this action? It's a lawsuit. <laughs> lawsuit. What? I like that suit. Is that a pantsuit? No, it's a lawsuit. <laughs> you're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. A lot of action. A lot of action. Uh, so a marine biologist collected 20 samples of tuna from different Southern California subway locations and had them tested in a lab. And they found that there was no detectable tuna DNA sequences in 19 of the 20. Like, it, it, I don't, what is, you know more about math than I do. What is the, what is the percentage of 19 out of 20 doesn't have tuna? What is the percentage? 95%. <laughs> I think that's easy, Matt. I feel like you could have done that. Actually, I couldn't have. No. All right. So, Here's here's what they what they so out of nineteen of them. There's there's not actual tuna in them, and tuna is a fish for our listeners. That are, this is their first time. Also, uh, when it gets bigger, it's Jim Halpert. <laughs> Big tuna. That's great. Thanks, man. That's good. That's all I'm going to contribute to this whole episode. So, uh, no. So all twenty of them, they contained chicken DNA. Look at all those. Look at all chickens. those chickens. So eleven of them. Had- you think Subway saw that, and that's why they got on their own? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. Keep talking. No, no, no. No, I shut up. Eleven had pork DNA. Seven had cattle DNA. In your tuna. Now, tuna isn't a cow <laughs> or a piggy. No, or a chicken. This little piggy went to the tuna. Maybe factory. they got confused with the whole chicken of the sea tuna. I guess that was like, it. Gets me every time. That's it. You know what? Can I tell you a fun fact? When I ate a lot of tuna, uh, my freshman year of college, they had this like little bitty shop and you got like a certain amount of money, like 150 bucks a semester on this card when you were on scholarship at the college I went to. I'm not going to promote them because they didn't pay us. No, and so pay um, pay when I'd go in at the end of the year, it's like, you would like, everybody's like pretty much you lose it. If you don't spend it, you lose it. So everybody's buying everything like okay. snacks, drinks. Could, you walk in too late only thing left, tuna. stacks of tuna cans. Oh my gosh. So for the last week and a half of school, we're just tuna for every meal. Wow. But it turns out, Smell not good. a lot of tuna in it. <laughs> not a lot. A lot, a lot of tuna in it. Not a lot of tuna. So uh, Subway had to launch a website called uh, Tuna Facts. Because... <laughs> <laughs> this summer on NBC, <laughs> Tuna Facts, starring Michael Paul Gosser. On, 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 a, on a very special episode of, uh, Tuna Facts. of L.A. Law. L.A. Law, Law and Order, what is it? No, Oh, they're bringing L.A. Law back. So uh, what they what they said is that um, the reason why they're suing is they said the people who eat tuna, they get, they get no chance to take preventative measures because of the risk of, and I am quoting this, because of this adulteration to your tuna products. So what they're saying is, what if I have a tuna allergy? Or no, I have a chicken allergy, or I have a beef allergy, or I have a pork allergy, and I'm going there eating tuna thinking I'm getting it, and then I get sick. I don't have a chance to actually take preventable, preventable, preventative measures. So the preventative measures would be not <laughs> eating it. <laughs> Look, oh, like I take a pill before I eat uh-huh. beef? Yeah, yeah. Or don't eat beef. Cow and chicken. You watch cow and chicken on, That's call, it. That's on Cartoon how you Network. Do. You're like, oh, I'm so much better. So we had we went on a, on one of our mission trips to Peru. We were in Machu Picchu and we are hiking. It is extremely narrow, only wide enough set of stairs that one person at a time could pass. And one of the guys who's in front of us was one of those diehard mission trip guys. And he pulls out of his pack a one year over the sell by date packet of lemon pepper tuna peels the top off and starts 
eating it with his hands while we're hiking up Machu Picchu. Foster was directly behind him. The uh, the it did not go well. The entire crew wanted him to get off the trail. He's like, "Come on!" And so his nickname was Big Tuna. After that, that's amazing. It smelled so. That's a bad. good nickname, Big Tuna. Yeah, that's good. So that's one thing. That's that's one thing on the pop popcorn. Culture. So what do we do whenever we popcorn. we uh we whenever. <laughs> Yeah, step, 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 that's how step, 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 step. we pop out. That's it. Uh, this next one is really interesting. Vizio, you know, do you have? A, a Were you going to say this next one's not very interesting? Well, you said this next one's interesting. This next one, this eh. one's kind of boring. You'll hate it. This next one, I mean, ah, that's we'll every podcast right I this. talk. <laughs> every time <laughs> we'll I'm leading, people are like, skip. So, do you have a Vizio TV? What kind I do. Of TV do you have? You do? Yeah, have, uh, is it a smart TV? Yeah, I have. We have a couple of Vizios. I think most of them are Vizios because we get them at Walmart and Sam's, and that sells a lot of Vizio. Mine is only LG. I don't know. Oh why. wow, lucky gold you, star, rich guy. <laughs> oh, you got money. Over oh, you here. got money. Oh, he flexing. Search that YouTube video. LG. Search YouTube video. You got money. It's a really? girl on a date, and they're at the movie theater, and somebody's filming her, and she's like standing there, and the guy's like, "Yeah, I'd like a large Coke." She looks at him like, "Because oh. you know the movie theater is expensive." <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he goes, "And I'd like a. Can we get a large popcorn?" Looks at him again. <laughs> he goes, "Guy, I would love some milk dust." She goes. You got money. <laughs> well, I made that my kids true. watch it. Now they do it every time we you go somewhere expensive. Money. They go, you got money. Man. It's also a running joke in my family that McDonald's is expensive. Because one time we were on a road trip and we went to McDonald's. We spent 50 bucks. At McDonald's? Yeah, that's what we said. get one of everything? We, well, no. We got regular meals for everybody and it was $52. And my kids act like somebody's rich if they go to McDonald's. And we don't eat it because it's disgusting. Wow, garbage. boy. You rich? You got money. You got money, man. What? Why are you? Why are we doing that, boys? I don't know why you have that. I've never even seen the video. It's a little racist, man. Hundred (laughs) percent. What is? uh, What in uh, Hot Rod the movie? They go, who would win in a street fight between a sandwich, a tuna sandwich, and a taco? And this is the tuna sandwich is a fair fight, but if it's prison rules, a taco. That's kind of racist, but you're correct. For sure. I'm sorry. So Vizio, this one's interesting. Vizio. Vizio. Yeah, we're all over the place. Vizio, uh, they so they just reported their third quarter earnings, and they make twice as much money from advertising as they do from selling TVs. So in the third quarter, they made fifty seven million in gross profit from advertising. But when you say advertising, explain that. They are so when, if you have a smart TV, okay, let's say this. Go find a TV at any of those stores you mentioned that's not a smart TV. Oh, it's like twelve dollars. They're super cheap because they're crap. Find, okay, but why well, yeah, but there are very few of them. They're not making them anymore. So what they do is these companies make smart TVs, and the the fact that they are selling your information, they're selling your location, your watch history, and your uh, the way that you uh, interact with advertising, they sell that information to offset the cost of smart TVs. You remember when TVs were, like, wicked expensive? Wicked smart. And they're not wicked. They're not wicked, no, wicked smart now. No, 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 they're no. wicked smart TVs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. So the reason why is because all of them have become smart TVs and they're offsetting the cost with actually selling your information. So they made 57 million in gross profit from advertising, only 25 million from device sales, from television sales. Yeah. Double. Yeah. That's that's insane. Here's my thing. Like, you know, people are like, oh, privacy, the internet, privacy, they're selling us. Like, chill out. Who cares? <laughs> like, oh no, they're going to find out you're watching The Office for the third time. <laughs> Tammy, Jeff. chill. <laughs> Tammy is one of my favorite names. Like, <laughs> great job, Tammy. I almost made a joke about. Now I did my honor roll email list. I was writing it last night. Went out this morning. You didn't get it, and uh, I got it. Did you there really? Were three emails. You signed up. I did. My guy. I got three emails. My guy. I got you. Honor roll. <laughs> there it is. Uh, but yeah, I almost made fun of Tammy in there, but I thought, no, there's no, a really there's nice a lot of Tammy's, Tammy's out in, there in the education world. Yeah, guaranteed. But I still make fun of it when I talk. Because then I always, like, everybody laughs, laughs and looks, and I go, is there a Tammy in here? And they go, yeah. I go, 100%. I think you're great. I would have used Karen, but everybody's already being mean oh, to her. Oh, man. That's what I always that's say. That's a good joke. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm do just you a, think that's, like, one of the most popular new baby names in 2021? Karen? <laughs> yeah. I give a hard no. <laughs> oh, here's your baby it's like, girl. It's like, What's oh, her name? what are we going to name him? Adolf. Mm, check that. <laughs> I had a student in class one time named Adolf. What? Yeah, he was a super cool kid. We called him Dolph. Okay, I wonder why. Drop the A. Yeah. The A is silent. Lose the A. The Lose A is the silent. A. 
All right, so that's Vizio. They're basically an advertising cur- firm now. Kerm now? What is Kerm? I can't even use words. Uh, well, it's popcorn, so they're Kerm Knowles. <laughs> <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, pop-up video. They are, they are filming the third movie right now. It is actually in principal photography. And I almost didn't. I'm slurring my speech now. It almost didn't happen. Guardians of the Galaxy. It's from the stealing all your privacy. Vizio took the privacy. <laughs> That's why you're slurring your words. <laughs> they took all of my enunciation. Vizio taking my identity. <laughs> I'm now Italian because they took away my American what identity. What happened to you? Identity. America first. And now I'm Mexican. I thought I was Italian and I'm not. It's a taco. <laughs> It's we're a gonna, sandwich. We're going to get canceled. Tuna sandwich. We are getting canceled. No, that's no. why this is a Patreon. We're safe. <laughs> Five people are here. We trust all of you we with our lives. We trust you guys, yeah. And our monetary We actually went to Vizio, got a background check on all of you before we accepted your Patreon. So Marvel almost didn't make the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. They were going to create digital shorts like what Pixar does at the beginning of some of their Disney films. They were going to make three minute short little like films, short films about Guardians because they didn't think anybody would like it. Because it's weird. It's a little weird. You got literally one of your main characters on your starting five is a raccoon. Yeah. Yeah. Voice and by he's Bradley Cooper. He's lovable. You know what's bothering me? The hottest so. dude in the show is now a CGI raccoon. Yeah. The he was best the sexiest actor man is now a tree. Yeah. Mm, he's wearing platform shoes. Tippy tappy tippy tappy tippy 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 Callbacks. Family. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you said SNL sketch about that. We're like, and there's only one place you can find it. At the movies. He did. It's like Vin Diesel did a no. welcome back to the movies no. thing. And he, yeah. I cannot, no. will not, not in a box, not in with the socks. Movies. So good. Who, where, where else you gonna where else you gonna be able to fix uh, your marriage? But at the movies. I am Groot. Yeah, I'm Groot. So execs didn't think that people would understand it, that they would like it. James Gunn had such a good idea, and he said, take a gamble on it. They rolled the dice, and it actually happened. So in the next one, in Guardians 3. Will Poulter. That's the name we forgot. He is from... Isn't he the dude from uh, that movie that Sudeikis was in with Aniston? <laughs> no, no, no. Wasn't that Sudeikis? Yes. Um, he was the kid, no regret. No, not no regret. He's the, the country kid. Yeah, but what yeah. is his name? Uh, no, no, I know what his name is, Will Poulter. What was the name of the movie? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's, they're like a fake family, though, right? Because they're running drugs. I saw, yeah, sure. I saw a TikTok of this Will Poulter cat, uh-huh. and uh, they were talking about how ugly he was, and now he's handsome. Because is they, he really? Yeah, well, they did a So while you're telling me that all I got to do is just wait. I need to wait longer, and well, I'm going to get gotta, more handsome. You got to get enrolled in a <laughs> class action lawsuit. It's a class. All this for beef and this tuna. Is uh, <laughs> so there? So he's playing Adam Warlock in this upcoming movie. But there are two names on IMDb that are listed underneath this movie credit for Guardians Three that are very intriguing. One, yeah, my attention, Viola Davis. Oh, she's great. I I think she's amazing. I'm in love with her. And then <laughs> you know we dated then, right then, before then. I dated Jessica Alba. Uh, Viola I Davis knew and I dated. Coming. Yeah. So you know what's funny? I'm going to push pause on this for a second. Oh, wow, what's funny is when like I listen back to these. There are times where I'm listening to it, and while we're talking, I get an idea in my head, and I'll go, oh, my gosh, it would be so funny if, if I said this or if Tyler would say this, and then we do. I do the same thing. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, that was so good. It's literally like I w- you, like you'll be talking, and then I'll, in my head, I'll be thinking, like, oh, I should respond with this. And then yep, I yep. respond. Yes. It's yeah. so weird. It's happened so many times. I, there was one during the, the Kevin Hart episode where I went, Oh, Neil, come on, man. You're missing an incredible opportunity. And I said, and it, and I was like, it. you're a good boy. <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> you know? So the other name that is coming to Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is Idris Elba. Idris Elba's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes, but as as whatever. But as I don't think boring he's, man. I don't think he's playing the same character. He's playing a new guy? Yeah, because or is old, this like a multiverse? Well, the situation. old guy died. He died. <gasps> What if it is multiverse? And in this one, he's got a mustache. mustache. Not a mustache. Like a, a mustache. Lasso, a mustache. <laughs> what, mustache. If he's playing, um, what if he's redeeming how terrible the movie uh, The Gunslinger was from the Dark Tower series? I didn't see that movie. Have you read I, the books? Uh, oh, man, did I? No. It's I like didn't. adult Lord of the Rings. It's like, st- you. okay, here, let me say this. Okay. I love reading. I love books. And you hear, people are like, oh, Stephen King. I don't like scary stuff, so I've never read a Stephen King. Yeah. Then I read The Dark Tower. Which is more like it's some scary stuff, but it's mostly it's mostly like this. It's like Lord of the Rings through time and space. It's crazy. Okay. Um, but when you read it, 
Like there's good writers. Like I love J.K. Rowling. I love Harry Potter. I love all these books of these people that sell a lot of books that are great writers. There's great writers. And then there's Stephen King. He, he, was, that, he was that good? He's absolutely incredible. Really? About painting a portrait in your head through words. Okay. Like it's, it's like whenever you hear people, uh, Coach K, uh, you know, he's the basketball coach. Yeah. He coached the dream team for a while. Yep. Back in like the 90s, he coached the dream team. 92 dream team. He's got Bird, Magic, all these amazing players. You got young Michael Jordan out there. He came back and talked later. He said, you're out there with the best, some of the best players of all time. And then you have Michael Jordan. He's like, on that court, he was, they were all amazing. He was better. Wow. That's what it feels like wow. reading the writing of somebody like Stephen King. Why am I talking about this? We're talking, about we're, we're talking about Idris Elba, Gunslinger, back. Okay, Matthew McConaughey. Dark Tower is really good. The okay. book movie wasn't that good. Okay, the end. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. For I talking. didn't watch it because it got horrible reviews. It wasn't very good. It was and I've I've read the Gunslinger. Here's the deal: of the books, there's like seven books, and they did like a one off, like eighth later. Um, of the books, the Gunslinger is the weirdest because it's the hardest to understand. Like it's very. They tried to make it more for a general audience. When it's not, oh, it's a very like niche, like this is weird. You're not going to understand all of it until you read the next book and then you'll still have mystery. Like there's so much stuff that is not clarified. One of the things with Harry Potter in this magical world, it's like there are rules to the world. You can't but, just do magic. But you don't know what they are in this other one. In this one, it's like there's not really rules and it's kind of like anything could happen. It's no rules. It's really just right. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, I know. That, uh, this is Neil, we're the same person. I'm sharing just Sharing a brain. Sharing a brain. Enunciation, though, left me for a while, so I didn't get it. All right, hey, let's talk about Benedict Cumberbatch. Or Benedict. is it niche or niche? Cumber ben ni Cumberbatch. Batch. So Fuck. he got nicotine poisoning recently. <laughs> I didn't know that was going. It's a th it, yeah, it's a thing. That's he he got it. So at, we all know actors will do some really crazy things for the roles that they're in. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio ate raw bison liver in The Revenant and and got really sick. Christian Bale almost he lost really wanted pounds that pounds for that he Academy was Award. like yeah he was like if I don't get it for the, if I don't get it for that um, now you have my attention. So the 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 movie that Benedict Cumberbatch is in it's called the power of the dog it's a it's a cowboy it's a west i can't say it's a cowboy movie it's a western and he had to smoke so many cigarettes he basically said it was uh it was like more than two packs a day of unfiltered he got nicotine poisoning three times gosh so the character he played smokes what they called filterless rollies his character would be able to roll a perfect cigarette with just one hand and he got nausea, vomiting, hearing and vision changes, and an abnormal heart rate, and had to start taking antibiotics. Are you so wait, he didn't have the antibodies? I'll do my own research. <laughs> I've got the antibodies. If there's a body, I'm against it. I've got the <laughs> antibodies. Just, oh. Hey, question. This is related, but also Tyler-ish, because it's stupid. I like it. When did his parents sit down and go, okay, we got a kind of weird last name. What should we name? Maybe John, <laughs> Jeff, no, Benedict. Benedict, yeah. Okay, well, do we know any other Benedicts in history? There's a one guy in America, oh, we're yeah, from Britain. Can't. Yeah, so that uh, one Nobody will know. They won't connect. Never, it's not like he's going to get a job that's predominantly in America. <laughs> They're, everyone's going to say his name. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Um, so for this role, he had to learn how to castrate a bull. Like he did a practice multiple times. I don't know how, what, what, the bulls don't get it. He's just tie like a bunch of rubber bands around until it falls off. <laughs> That's what I read on the internet. <laughs> don't Google it. Don't go. Do not. Hey, no. hey, you can ask Jeeves, hey, but don't Google it. Don't do <laughs> You said being the Bing. other day. <laughs> and he also learned how to play the banjo, like actually play the banjo. <laughs> you know what that's from? <laughs> Isn't that the frog? What's the frog? No, it's from uh, the start of uh, Robin Hood cartoon. <laughs> Robin Hood cartoon? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're right. You're right. Wow. That's right. Yeah, wow. Right. Yeah, okay. Right. Sorry, Kevin. So he 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 definitely did a lot of method acting for this. He did not shower for the majority of the uh, the time that he acted. So Shia LaBeouf did because he uh, fury. Like the yeah, other actors yeah, yeah. couldn't be around him because he yeah. smelled so bad. This is the exact same thing happened here. They didn't want to be around him. He said he wanted that layer of stink to be on him at all times. He refused to speak to Kirsten Dunst, his his co star. Uh, on set while he's not in character. Just would not talk to her. So is he a method actor? Yes. Oh, 100%. Because of yeah. the methods? Yeah. <laughs> he's actually, you might call him a method man. Wow. 
Yeah. I would just that say it. Out. I would say it with rhythm, <laughs> like a rap. That comes out on November 17th. All right. This is a good one because it's a throwback to the last episode that we did about writing a book. Spotify is adding audiobooks in early 2022. Hey, they bought, uh, what's the podcast thing they bought? Anchor. Yeah, they, yes, they had, yeah, create your Spotify. Yeah. Then, well, we the thing with that. Spotify is they're encouraging people to create through their apps too. Is yes, that what this one's going to do? That's exactly what it is. Okay. So they, they acquired, so they already had Anchor, which lets you do all that other stuff, but then they acquired a, a company called Findaway, which is an audiobook company. And they're basically doing it where now you can actually record, edit, publish your own audiobook and all that sort of thing. They're going to pair authors with potential narrators. So there's like Ooh, a marketplace for it. That's cool. And then does the narrator get like a, Yep. Percent? Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah. Does and that was, mean since you're doing the audiobook for my book? Do I <laughs> this whole thing is just about me getting the views. Yeah, you know, uh, it's available to the free Spotify. I don't know. People that have the free Spotify, there's ads and you can't like do a playlist. It Are you not a free guy? Order. Oh, I, no, I would pay for it. Oh, wow. Are you a free you, guy? No. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't pay for it. For I have Spotify? YouTube music. It's included uh, in. Yeah, you're, you get all that in your. What do you do? YouTube, YouTube premium? premium. Yeah. yeah. YouTube premium. Yeah. So uh, paid user. So it's available. If you want to listen to an audiobook, you can listen to it for free. It just has ads. So you could listen to anybody's audiobook. It's like what you said, like going to uh, Libby. Yeah. You can use theirs for audiobooks and it's free. And if paid users, somebody actually pays it, the the author gets that money directly. So that's coming in early 2022. That's precious. Uh, YouTube is hiding dislike comments. <gasps> I like that. As so a YouTube is, guy. Yeah, so the, how do you feel about that? I'm excited. Is that a good thing? Yes. It's so rude. Like, why would somebody like, hey, I'm going to try to teach you slope. Yeah. yeah. Like, why would you do that? Like, <laughs> That's bit, the sound that thing It's makes. in your brain, in your heart. Like, literally, I looked at a video. I do, uh, my my sons and I have a cards account, and we no. put YouTube shorts up. And somebody disliked Yeah, we, Titus and I did a video about John Moran. had like 21 likes, like 15 dislikes. I'm like, what? Get, y'all are meanies. That's weird, man. Why would they dislike it? That's, well, that's, here's the thing, too. With shorts, you're wanting the algorithm to work around what you have. So it's like, I can see where people would dislike it because they don't want that content. But even TikTok does it where it's like, you can heart it, no dislike. If you don't like it, you can actually hold and then say, I don't want this content anymore. Yeah, and it doesn't show up anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Uh, man, do you like it or dislike that? Um, I, I like it. So the, the dislike button itself isn't going away. It's it just should. not public. I think get rid of it. Yeah, I mean, what's the point of it? It's always been there as long as YouTube's been around. I know, and it's dumb. And it's dumb. I don't like uh, that. If somebody's only- been on YouTube for a hot minute. I don't <laughs> so like. So that's it. what's wild about it is it's like, uh, so I, if I'm hitting the dislike button, I can't see how many dislikes are on it. But you, as the creator, still see all the dislikes. It doesn't really help out. They said there's a no direct correlation to views for dislikes. On YouTube, they did a huge study. It took years and years and years. Well, you have to view it to dislike it. Yeah. So it's like, of course, you're still getting that. Now, they're trying to curb what's called dislike attacks. These are coordinated attacks on video creators where people basically do it to take them down. Um, the One of the most famous ones, you know all about it. <laughs> yeah, YouTube Rewind. So how they, aren't they stopping it? They didn't do it the last year or two. And other creators, like Mr. Beast did one. And other people have like made their own. So YouTube Rewind, when does it come out? It's like December, yeah, it's December. Okay. Yeah, December they do. What they'll do is they'll ask a bunch of creators. They'll either, they'll usually go film them doing it. And then, um, hmm. then they'll, you know, go in and dingle dangle. Oh, they would go film like, them because it was this big thing. Yeah, it was. they would do it okay. like professionally. When what they should do is what Mr. Beast did. Like, hey, film Let eight minutes of it. this. Like that's yes. their style. That's every, And then you're Let mixing it. Let them do it. But instead they try to like script it. And these people are not script. Most of no. them aren't script. No, they they're, don't like I, I talk about games, or I'm playing yep. Fortnite, yeah. or I'm. And now I'm know. gonna, I'm gonna be an actor. In yes, this thing. and it's yeah. really. Cringy. And I'm probably gonna get nicotine poisoning from all these rollies. All I these gotta... rollies that Casey Neistat's <laughs> gotta do. Lies the Koshi. He's in character. Casey, take a shower. So the uh, the 2018 YouTube Rewind is the most disliked video on YouTube in YouTube history. Is that the one with Will Smith? Yeah. 19 million dislikes. Yeah. Um, so that is coming. Um, you think they'll ask us to be on it for the podcast? I would hope so. If not, what do we, we have? We have everything they need. We got cringeworthy content. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of dislikes. <laughs> and we got a lot And a of bunch access. of white guys. A <laughs> bunch of great. white guys. going to be great. So NASA this is the last one. NASA has delayed the moon landing that was scheduled for 2025. Shocker. Wow. Drives why? me crazy. Everybody knew it was going to happen. So the why? way this is happening, and I'll tell you the reason why. Why? 
because of Jeff Bezos. Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey <laughs> Bezos. I need to sing more, I think. Uh, <laughs> everyone, I'm here. I am here for it because I have to. <laughs> the, uh, You're like, why? Uh, why? So Jeff Not Bezos. Like <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We've actually said that in quite a, lot, a few, and I love that line. <laughs> um, he uh, sued. So Blue Origins. Uh, blames it is like they sued NASA because NASA went with SpaceX to help get their lunar landers and lunar, all that other stuff up there. Jeff Bezos ended up suing NASA. That took a lot of NASA's research and time and, and energy to go do that. And they, they won the lawsuit. Jeff Bezos lost. And because of that, it kicked them off the schedule for where they were headed to actually get to the moon. So they're going in three phases. This would you is really say it simple. launched them off the schedule? <laughs> yeah, I would. No, I would say I'll, that. I'll, I'll write my own I would say that. No. Yeah. So Artemis 1 is the first rocket, and that goes up in what we believe is maybe early, early 2023, maybe 2022. That is just the rocket, just to get up there and make sure everything works. Uh, that's Artemis one Artemis two will take astronauts to the moon and back. So they'll go around the moon and then come back. It's the furthest that astronauts have been since uh, the Apollo program. Why? Why? Well, to test all that out because they're going to do what? Like, what are they working towards? Um, they're working towards the next one, which is the landing. So Artemis three, which they're saying is in 2025 is when we actually land on the moon. Okay. And then what are they going to do? Well, they've got to get a lot of gear and other stuff up there too. to do what? Up on the moon, so that we can live there. No, so that we can use that as a as a launch point to, to get go to, to Mars. Mars. Okay, yeah. is NASA going to go so Mars or there. is is Musk? Well, I think it's kind of in conjunction. Conjunction, conjunction. <laughs> well, <laughs> they, they're, they're they're doing it together because you can't do it without SpaceX. Okay, he's going to have a, a big part to play in it. Cool, and I think that's where he. That's where the partnership. Go. That's all Bezos sued. Yep, Got it. That's why he sued. So, um, uh, the crew of uh of the first Artemis, no, the crew that actually is going to land on the moon includes a woman. A person of color and probably a random white dude. That's good. But um, yeah, it's like the best diversity we've ever had. Yeah, but is the white dude rich? Because I need him to have a lot of money. <laughs> I need him. I really what, need him to have some the, money. What was the line about you that? Got money, oh, you got money. You got money. <laughs> uh, also, he brings uh, the large popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in, in space, no one can hear you scream or that, that popcorn pop because it's too cold. Wow. Too cold. Wow. Uh, also, and this is just random because we are talking a little bit about Elon Musk. He did change his Twitter name to Lord Edge on Tuesday. And not Lord, L-O-R-D-E. Not like the Edge. singer. Lo- yeah. No, it's actually like the singer oh. and then the word Edge. So he's not my Lord? No. He sings like Lord. <laughs> Lord Does he know Edge. that I sing? He like, should. Like, Who does Text it? Elon. Who you know what? I'll text it? Jessica Alba. She'll text Viola Davis and text Elon. He dated him after me. And then if we could, could Very, we get Christopher Nolan up there to film all this, please? I on love the moon? him. I, I love, love him. him. I love him. Only out of sequence, though. Yeah. He does a lot of out of sequence stuff. He really does. Couldn't just, couldn't couldn't just, just tell get us, it. Tell I mean, us all it is, just drag this. I can show him, drag the file to the front. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes, man. So this has been Pop Culture Popcorn. This is kind of an update for what has been going on this past week in pop culture. Uh, I love it. Yeah, so um, we do not we we don't have a three v three and we don't have a will it rock because uh, the rock is actually the rock was in the news this past week but whatever he was he's always news so I have a new theory you want to hear this random crazy theory I have yeah, it's not necessarily you? about the rock it's about uh, Will Smith Will Smith there's constant news out there about hey shocking revelation Will Smith talks about this time that he was caught doing something wrong during the Fresh Prince hey Will and Jada talk about their tumultuous relationship or with whatever what. Will does this thing where he gets in the headlines by something he says about three months before his movies come out. So, and it keeps happening. It's about once a week. I think it's all marketing. Probably. He's saying random things about little things that we, things we don't know. Hey, my relationship with Jada is, you know, really, it's not, we're going through really tough, uh, man, you know, we're, we're, we're not as close as we used to be, blah, blah, blah. A bunch of people start talking about it. And then you end up finding out, oh, that's right. He has this movie that's coming. Yeah. Out. Will Smith, who's releasing a new movie in three months. Yep. Yes. Just it's that. that. He is constantly yeah. doing that. Then he's, he came out recently in a book and said somebody almost, he thought about killing his dad, like shoving him down the stairs. Yes. Yeah, I didn't read the whole thing. But. It's in that that kind of stuff. You're like, why did what? Where's that coming from? Well, he didn't do it because The Rock is his dad. Yeah, that's and right. He's, like, he's a big boy. He can't. Well, remember we already said the amount of kinetic energy you have to get moving. <laughs> Rocks don't roll. 
real. Yeah. Heads are going to roll. <laughs> Rocks don't roll. So this is, uh, this is uh, Pop Culture Popcorn. And, Let us know um, in the comments if you like this, if you yeah. want us to keep doing it. If you hate it, um, it's Neil's fault because he's the only one that does any sort it's of It's not true. It will be my fault, sp- but it's it's okay. No, it's okay. I love it. And then also, yeah, just tell us what you think. What you think. <laughs> Yeah, be a friend. Be, be a friend. Be, be, be a, a best friend. Let's get my some bison. I oh. ate a, a raw bison that I just to get over here. I'm hoping that maybe he gets some awards. Why yeah, is Leonardo the cat well talk like this? He does. He does. That's why when the awards put the bison in the tuna. <laughs> That's right. We didn't hear any. There was no perceptible bison DNA in any of those. No, it was all tuna. Yeah. Tuna 100% sandwich. 100% tuna. He what got if- it from the store at Arkansas <laughs> Tech University. He had a little bit of dollars left on his card. Yeah, it's all you're eating for the last week. All I'm eating, I'm going to heat up this tuna. Hot tuna, cold tuna, medium tuna. You ready in this thing? I'm going to say bye to my dog. Okay, bye. Thanks for listening to the Explain Everything podcast. You can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube at Explain Everything Podcast. We're on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, but you're already here. We love you. No. Actually... We're in love with you. (laughs) Thanks for coming to our TED Talk. Bye.